good mid-morning to you. I'm all dressed, ready to go out for the day. I'm gonna go and see my dad today and see how he's getting on post-op. Mustn't forget the apples. I've got them packed in my bag. I'm gonna swing by my mum's place and we're gonna do the final leg of the journey by public transport together. So uh, better go and get on that train then. Made it onto the train. I always seem to be hot and sweaty by the time I get on. It's the walk with all the clobber on my back, I think, that does it. Anyway, I've just been doing a bit of fact-finding for my mum, because she's not used to getting trains, you see. She's used to getting buses. And uh, we were talking yesterday, can she get any discount on the train because she doesn't have a rail card? And I was just asking, apparently, if you use your bus pass, your, what, I can't remember what age you have to be, is it 60 to have a bus pass? If you use that, you get a third off on the Valleys Lines trains. So that's good to know, no rail card needed, and a third can, you know, that's a good saving. So brilliant, yeah. As per usual, on an out and about day, I've switched my routine around. I've been working on the vlog first thing this morning when I got up, got that all done, ready for tonight. And now it's my language learning session time. I wondered why I was doing so many typos in French. The keyboard layout is different. It's not a QWERTY, look. I kept pressing that for an A. <laughs> uh oh. This is why I carry pink and blue highlighters around with me. It's when I'm trying to drum something into my head that it's feminine or masculine. So I just highlight it in pink or blue. It's time for me to pack up now. I've managed to get all my language learning in for the day, which is my goal, but only just, because I had some trouble with the signal going down for quite a lot of the time, which was really annoying. But anyway, I've got it all done, so I'm pretty happy about that. As you can see, I've, uh, oh, I've taken a few notes. That's from today, not many, in my various languages that I'm doing. I've got to change trains, but I've got 20 minutes, so I'm gonna nip and buy a sandwich to have for my lunch en route. It's just starting to rain. I packed my rain mac today and a brolly in the bag as well. 40p for lentil chips, don't mind if I do. I love lentil crisps. Egg and cress sandwich for two pound, that'll do. I've just got on the next train now. It's just sitting at the station actually, waiting. I always like to go right at the back at the corner. It's a real habit, you might have noticed. I'm gonna tuck into my sandwich now. I love days like this. I really like gadding about on public transport. I don't know why. Well, I probably could come up with a list of reasons why if I actually sat and brainstormed it, but I love it. It's so stimulating and I love being on a journey. It's like being in a real life story. <laughs> it's so linear. Yeah. Come on then, sandwich, come to Imo. Ooh, it's got a bit squished. This is why I chose not to get a salad today. <laughs> oh dear. One thing I like about these sorts of days is that it feels like such a bonus day because I still usually do what I would have otherwise done, like learning my languages, editing, I don't know, doing stuff online on my phone, emails, whatever, eating, drinking, going to the loo, you know, all that stuff I would normally do. But at the same time, I'm making a journey to somewhere. So it feels like a bonus day. I'm happily ensconced on Dad's sofa. Look how high up it is with the risers. <laughs> I have come down, I'm on laundry duty. Uh, don't know how to use this machine, but you know, I'm gonna have a go in it. Um, uh, synth 65, okay, do we just press start? Is that it? Oh, yes. Oh, that was nice and simple. Dad's got a communal laundry and it's a little bit of a, a walk from his flats. Hence, I am doing it. I'm back, later, it's done. That's my alarm going off. Uh, right, it's gotta go in there now. So, meanwhile, mum, mum has been giving Dad a foot wash. Never even occurred to me to offer and he didn't ask, but she suddenly thought, hmm, he can't wash his feet and she did it for him. Right, I've got no idea how to do this. Dryer operating instructions. Clean lint filter at front of dryer. Didn't do that. Uh, what do we do? Just rummage around. Oh, looks all right to me. Load the dryer. Do not overload, I definitely haven't. Select required temperature. Mm, that one, right, so that is the one. He said the one down from the top. Press start pad. 
starts pad. Oh, okay. Oh, and he said it goes up in increments to 45 minutes. Oh, there we are. And I've set the timer again, so I know when to come down and get it. Now look at this. Spin dryer, presumably. Please do not overload the spin dryer, as this will jam the machine. Wow. I haven't seen one of those for years. I didn't know they still had them. Oh, and he said to leave this open a bit. He said it stops it stinking or something. You notice they've done that with the other one. I suppose this is for hand washing. Right, I'm gonna head back up now then. I wonder what we'll do next. We've been playing tunes, I haven't filmed it, but my mum plays as well, so she actually keeps a piano accordion at my dad's place, so when she goes around, she can get it out and play tunes with him. I'm coming in for a progress update. How are you feeling nine days post-op? Yeah, I'm doing all right, thank you. Have and you heard any uh, problems? Well, not that I want to discuss. <laughs> They are behind me now. Oh, that's good. And a bit of swelling on the ankle, I've noticed. Yes. I yeah, won't put the camera yeah. down there, but yeah. Yeah, I think the uh, the swelling did extend further up the leg. It was expected, and it seems to be uh, retreating to the ankle now, so um, it's going in the right direction. Yeah, they told you to expect it, didn't they? Yeah, they did. Yeah, and how's the yeah. walking going? Very well. I'd go outside and walk on the crutches, increasing the distance a little bit each day. Yeah. Um, not very far yet, but uh, <laughs> it's in the right direction. Yeah, have you got any pain back yet? Um, there's a bit, a little bit of pain from the uh, the incision site, but uh, I mean it's a hefty bit of work done there, so you'd expect that. But yeah. um, the residual pain has just seems to have gone, you oh. know, so that's amazing. Brilliant. Yeah. Oh wow, thanks, Dad. He's a good interviewee, isn't he? I think so. Yeah. I'm back and it's literally just stopped as I've walked in. We're going home very soon indeed. Right, that's perfectly dry. Oh, it's nice and warm in here. I'd like to get in, maybe not a good idea though. Later on, nearly home, in editing. <laughs> I'm home, I was gonna cook Izzy dinner, but she's eating a big meal. <laughs> she's done herself chips, fish fingers, and what's your veg? Salad, good, because it needed using. I need to get my tripod set up, don't I? <laughs> Are you all ready to see what it is? Izzy doesn't know. <laughs> da -da! Now this capo is recommended for a nylon string guitar, classical guitar. Apparently you can't just whack any old capo on a classical guitar because you could wreck it. Well, damage it anyway. So this has been recommended 7th G, is that what we call that? Newport's capo. I'll leave a link in the description just in case you want a capo for your nylon string guitar. And that is pretty good timing because she's about to have a Zoom lesson for guitar in about five minutes, so yay. Well, Lizzie's downstairs in the cellar having her guitar lesson online. I'm cooking myself up some very <laughs> random stuff. It's basically finely chopped potato sautéed in oil with cumin seeds, courgette, mushrooms. I'm going to add some pulses, I think. What shall we have from the pulse cupboard? Ooh, I'm going to save that jar of deliciousness. Oh, mind you, I'm tempted. Mm. <gasps> I'm going to have some, actually, yes. Oh, I might have some tuna with it as well, actually. I think it would go. I could have it instead. No, I'm gonna have it instead. The chickpeas can wait. This is how I cook. I basically make it up as I go along. I'm still really missing my soy sauce. I haven't got any, my Kickerman brand, but I'm going to Ivy's tomorrow via public transport or at least part of the way. So I think I might be able to take a little diversion on foot in between trains and go to a Chinese supermarket and collect one. This is what I shall try to do anyway. All depends on how the time's going really. I've got a lot on. Do you remember me saying the other day that I had a bit of time in October with no gigs and I was planning to, you know, book a holiday. Well, I've had two gigs come in today for mid-October, so it's actually brilliant. I would, you know, I'll do the gigs first, obviously, rather than the holiday. I'll have a holiday another time, but yeah, pretty good. Hey! <laughs> I've got quite a full and busy October now, so that's brilliant. Something else I need to plan in the way of going abroad is a little excursion to Lisbon for my band, one of my bands anyway. I want to try and get a load of gigs so that it will just cover the cost of the flight and the accommodation, hopefully, or even if it doesn't quite cover it, you know, it'll make it an affordable holiday for us. But I just don't even know where to start with it. I need to put my mind to it. So far I've got everybody's availability and that's as far as I've got. I've got a list of venues that I've got off a friend of mine who's out there working there to contact. So I definitely need to get onto that before any more time passes, but I've just been a bit busy for a few days. Obviously I was out yesterday and today. I've got to go out tomorrow as well, but I'm hoping to squeeze a bit of organisation in 
tomorrow but I need to practice something for Friday's gig because I've written it out I've worked it all out but I haven't actually put my flute to my lips to see if I can actually play it yet so yeah time is ticking with that uh, as you can see dad is making a fantastic recovery he's got a bit of swelling on one leg but he was told to expect it so he's not worried about that he's taking very minimal painkillers now he's just on a few paracetamols yeah we had a nice pleasant time with him did some few bits and bobs I put his bedding back on his bed for him because I'd taken it off to wash it put it back up just little things like that he's perfectly capable of doing it but it's just nice isn't it thank you so much for watching today's video please give it a like if you liked it and I'll see you in the next one bye